Yes, my viewers and subscribers, welcome to another episode of Jamaica Politics Uncovered. For those of you who are new subscribers, welcome. If you're just returning, welcome back. Guys, I have a video to show you. Um, it's talking about some very serious thing against the Prime Minister, Jamaica Andrew Olness. Guys, I don't know if it's true, but I have to bring it to you. Because in my view, in this climate in Jamaica, nothing is taken for a joke. I want you to know, guys, that between the year... 2018 to present there have been several assassinations of politicians in jamaica and none of those murders were solved here we have dr linvey bloomfield sitting member of parliament murdered after being hounded out of his seat by the secretariat of the people's national party his accused mysteriously disappeared the first day of trial he has yet to return or be found Next, we have Ainsley Parkins, sitting councillor, assassinated, July 2023. No one has been arrested or charged. JLP councillor, assassinated as well. No one has been arrested or charged. One of the youngest JLP councillors right here. And this one, he was gone down in the church where he worked. Broad daylight, nobody arrested or charged. In the video that I'm going to share with you guys, the person who is speaking said that these three know about the plot against the Prime Minister. Again, I do not know if it's true. I cannot confirm that. I'm just relaying the message. So the thing about it is, guys, when it comes down to these three, the PNP leadership with these guys, they are in desperation mode. Where there is politics, corruption, and desperation, guys, anything is possible. I know that these guys don't have any integrity, and that's what I can say for sure. Peter Bunting tried to take down the leadership of the party with Dr. Peter Phillips, Imam Golding, and they failed to do so with Dr. Peter Phillips. They go a little further. They got rid of Lisa Hanna from out of the party eventually frustrated her bully her do all sorts of things so they got rid of dr phillips lisa hannah and eventually venetia phillips who resisted them fiercely right so what they're doing is getting out all of the people them who is challenging them or pose a threat to their ambition next they expel Karen Cross from out of the party who served the party for some 40 odd years. They even go as far as to bring lawsuit against blogger overseas who challenged them and spoke about their sabotage plot which leaked. Guys, they set up Philip Palwell by going to the woman that he was with who live overseas, telling her about baby and all kind of things. They know Philip Paul was not with that woman, but they did that to set him up, but they didn't know that the outcome was going to be the murder of his child and her mother. So, you see, because of the political climate in Jamaica right now, and because you cannot trust the leadership of the PNP, which now we see a woman affiliated with the party murdered and it's radio silence and the party cannot disassociate themselves completely with the husband. Guys, the other thing is there is this protest from the diaspora that is coming after the government of Jamaica. And I call this protest a sham because looking at the condition of the People's National Party and they are getting paid, these members of parliaments and heads of the PNP are getting paid to defend the people. But these protesters, they are going after the government, but they're not saying anything about the opposition who is woefully lacking in how they're serving the people. This... Um, protest is organized by a few vloggers on the YouTube platform here. And so I don't give too much credence to it, you know. So may I just go ahead and play the video. And I am going to tell the Prime Minister, do not take this lightly. Because for some reason, these people look like so they want to get rid of your real bad. And then too, you have people who had their agenda from 2019, get rid of people among themselves and now you are in the way to their 
leadership of Jamaica. This must not be taken lightly. This must be investigated. And wherever the investigation leads, so shall it be. Guys, have a listen. And don't forget to come back and subscribe. And share with this channel with your friends. Jamaica Politics Uncovered. See you in the next video. You see, to your left, upper left, you see the Prime Minister of Jamaica, Andrew Olness. And below him, you see a man by the name of, his name is Guy Philippi. Yeah, that man is a terrorist from Haiti. Yes, man. And he is the Prime Minister assassin. Yes, this man is the Prime Minister, um, the Prime Minister Andrew Olin's assassin. And he has been in Warwick Hills, East Kingston, for over three weeks. I know he's been housed by men there whose connection are in South Clarendon. And their connection goes with a man called Kevin Tilliba Roberts. Yes, this man is a known violence producer, known drug dealer too. Yes, cocaine dealer. Even the plane that crashed down there at the time um, in Rocky Point, it was his plane. Um, the, men, the men that were on the plane were escorted out by same um, corrupt police officers in Clarendon. And he controls the entire Clarendon Police Division. That's what the residents of South Clarendon, the information that we had received. Yes, from the soup, all, from the soup down to the district council, they all leaving the grounds, man. So you have to, everything you have to do is just follow the money. So the day has come now in which it's not only shocking, but we never envision that uh, it will reach this point in our lifetime where they're planning to kill the head of you know of the Jamaican government, the Prime Minister. And it's all in motion right now. And his friends on the other side, they knew about it. Three of them. Three of them. Peter Bunting is one of them, allegedly. Mark Golden and Dayton Campbell. They all knew about this man that is in Warwick Hill. So in this eye-opening expose, we delve into the shocking activities surrounding Prime Minister Andrew Olness and his alleged connection to a hidden hideout in Warwick Hill, East Kingston. It is claimed that the Prime Minister's mysterious assassin has found refuge in this secluding area for an astonishing three weeks now. Reports suggest that this fugitive is being sheltered by individuals associated with the, no, we're not even saying, with the notorious alleged coke dealer, Robert Tilliba. Yes, Mr. Mr. Tilliba. Yes, his first name is Kevin, Mr. Kevin Robert Tilliba.